Well, it's Friday, May 16th, 2008, and I've got two kitties left. And this is the one that was hurt. She's getting better. How are you doing? Still having a bit of trouble breathing. And what are you doing? Did you go check out your baby? What are you doing under that Datsun? Evil lurking critter. Everybody's coming to see the action. I sure hope someone can adopt my babies. This little guy still needs lots of attention. I mean little girl. Oh, you snuggly thing. You're feeling pretty good today, aren't you? Here's your sister. Well, the story of her continued survival has not been a pretty one. I did end up taking her to the Lucan vet for a checkup. He couldn't see anything wrong while looking down her throat. He checked her temperature and said it was just slightly above normal by almost a degree. He felt her throat. It felt normal. He listened to the lungs with a stethoscope and said her lungs sounded normal, no pneumonia or gurgling sounds from a, per a pierced lung or anything like that. There still is a bit of breathing difficulty and he said that there's probably some scar tissue on her windpipe. That makes sense. But now the ugly part. Four times a week ago she died again. Twice while she was just walking around and being sociable and playing with her mother and her sister, they play attacked her as they often do. Well, of course, when kittens play attack, and even mothers too, other than rolling over and tumbling and that kind of stuff, they did the throat biting thing. Well, since she can't breathe as well as normal, she uh, died both times. I heard gasps and, and cries, only to come in and find my kitten on the floor, peeing and convulsing and then completely unconscious, uh, shortly away from death. Knowing that she didn't have a clogged airway at these points in time, all I did was pick up my poor dead baby and put my face on her snout and blow into her mouth and give her chest massages to start her heart beating and start her breathing again. And after about five big breaths, she came back to life each time. Twice more when she was on her favorite spot which is the top stair enjoying the sunshine I'm just sitting on my computer in rainy days editing videos I heard a big death gasp thump 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 and both times she fe fell all the way down the stairs and was laying at the bottom in a puddle of pee convulsing and then dead and lifeless I think the other times when she died it has to do with she has a little bit of mucus in her lungs and when she comes to cough it up sometimes it gets stuck in her airway and chokes her to death and it kills her. See there's the mother doing the death bite again practicing. I mean she likes to play but she's she's just not in the right condition yet. So luckily I was home both those times and close by. She never was dead for more than a minute and I blew into her mouth again brought her back to life and she was fine. The vet couldn't actually technically see anything wrong, so luckily I was always around at the right time and I have a cat now with only, what's that, three lives left because she's lost six of them now. Not as big anymore as her sibling. She's probably maybe 30% smaller now because the last three weeks she hasn't been eating well but she eats every day. She hasn't been drinking on her own but I give her some 
milk with sugar in it in a syringe, warmed up three or four times a day. When I put her in the cat box, she's still doing fine. She definitely has no brain damage. She's completely normal. She certainly, every day while I'm sitting at my computer, climbs up my leg and sits on my shoulder and purrs and meows in my ear and won't get off until I take her off. So I know I have a lot of haters out there because I didn't maybe take the cat to the vet as soon as it was attacked, but then in the condition it was at moments after it was attacked, I didn't think it would live anyways. The vet prescribed erythromycin pills, which is an antibiotic. It's the same form as human form, he said, just in a lower dosage. So I guess I wasn't too off track giving them my other more powerful antibiotics. It got her through the first initial swelling when her throat was, you know, all swollen up from infection, which of course would have immediately prevented her from breathing. A part of a good recovery is to keep your patient healthy and happy. Well, unfortunately, she's not happy sitting in a room all locked up alone by herself to keep her protected from her mother or her rambunctious, rambunctious sister. So I spend a lot of time with her and of course had to let her come out and socialize and sit at the top of the stairs and just be, you know, just be with the kittens she wants to be with and be with the people she wants to be with and I think even though there was some risk involved that's helped make her recover. Maybe so. And I'm enjoying myself outside fixing lawnmowers in the sort. Lots of stuff to work on. So I thought I'd bring my kitties out so I can supervise them while I'm out here trying to make a buck. You know, May 2 for a weekend, that stands for 24. But that's how much you get in a box of beer. <laughs> Hope you get better soon.